Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be here with you today. Today is going to be all about the fourth chakra, which is also called the heart chakra. I have been doing a lot of self-development recently, really going in and uh, peeling the layers of the onion right back to find a little bit more joy and uh, find a little bit of adventure within so i'm totally excited to share with you this video so the heart chakra's main color is green and uh, the element of the heart chakra is air and i mean it sort of makes sense the location of the hair of the heart chakra is in the center of the chest which is where your lungs are so when we inhale um, you, we inhale air and it sort of brings us that lightness and that ability to just breathe through whatever problem we have. Um, the challenge of the heart chakra is ultimately working through grief and um, the gift of the heart chakra is a light heart that is full of love and you can see where that lightness and that flow and that air comes in with the element of the heart chakra. Uh, I love that the heart chakra is the color green. Um, it, uh, for me, green always comes back to nature and I am my happiest in nature. So I uh, loved working with the color green today. Today is a monotone, you know what I mean, like different shades of green. And uh, I started off here in my layout, gessoing my page and then I'm adding the color green in various sort of brush, dry brush strokes, sort of really enjoying the feel of the page underneath my brush, um, being really haphazard. You know, you gotta loosen up at first. And so I was just playing with that fairly dry brush, um, doing really um, fun brush strokes, loosening my wrist, loosening my mind, loosening my heart, and really getting stuck into my art. Um, I did put the original stencil down and I removed some of the paint around it so that it uh, created just that outline of where that stencil was. Um, and then I went back in with a different color green just to uh, make, uh, to, um, just I guess pull out the pattern of the stencil and make it uh, a little bit stand out in the center. So you've got a central focal point. Part of understanding ourselves is being able to love ourselves. What we find is that when you're not able to really be happy with who you are and really love who you are, you'll find that there are um, ailments, shall we say, in the body. And uh, I'm not going to go into this at all. Uh, if you are familiar with the work of Donna Hay um, or Donna Eden, um, they do talk a lot about how um, ailments in the body are associated with different emotions in our body. So thinking back to the heart chakra, uh, we do hold grief there and we do hold sadness there. And if you have any of those elements, and believe me, I know all about this as this has been uh, a journey for me on so many levels. Uh, that you will know uh, when when you're affected by by elements that that live in in this area and that govern most of the decisions that you do um, some of the decisions that hold you back in life come from sadness and grief which is lodged you know deep and in, deep inside it's such a sensitive most beautiful issue and um, you know, we really have to have care here. We talk about um, compassion and kindness being absolutely necessary for people who are going through a lot of grief and uh, sadness in their life due to whatever reasons. Um, of course, it may be the loss of loved ones, but also we talk about how um, grief and disappointment come up for us uh, when we place a lot of expectations on ourselves and then for whatever reasons if it doesn't go through then we feel like we let ourselves down and sadness 
gets lodged in in the heart and we start believing things that just aren't true about ourselves and we we start to limit ourselves um, and tell ourselves stories around how we can't be more than what we are and it's just absolutely not true because the human the human being the human soul is the most amazing most full of potential creature ever uh, we can do so much of all the the creations on earth you know we're the ones building cities and economies um, cows and monkeys can't do that so um, there is something really special about being human uh, we have the potential to be anything we want to be and we also do have the potential to hold ourselves back and justify it in so many layers <laughs> which uh, you know is pretty amazing and if you're happy with that and um, you're happy to stay in a comfort zone and you know who you are and what you want to do with your life then you know rock on rock on um, part of living a life that is full is knowing your purpose and knowing what you're capable of and knowing where you want to be and where you don't want to be it comes to a point though where when you're true to yourself you know you're unhappy because you've not fulfilled something that your heart truly truly desires so um, I'm gonna bring a little bit of experience in here I hope you don't mind me sharing but I work in an aged care home I'm, I'm an aged care worker and time and time again I have heard people talk about what has been their joy and what has been their source of regret in life they did not go for their dreams they did not go for the deepest desires that they wanted but they were too afraid to reach they never asked that special person to marry them they never took a chance to start something that was interesting that could have brought potential that could have brought a greater business that could have taken them to greater talents more competitions etc etc um, that they just dreamed and dreamed and wished and wished but when it came up to it and when they had the opportunities they didn't reach for it because of fear uh, because they worried what people think they were worried about what if they failed and they were worried about um, believe it or not what would happen if they succeeded and how much it would change them and they wouldn't know who they were anymore it's the most amazing time for me to sit and hear the most beautiful stories told by our wise elders and to then come home and reflect about how true their words land and a lot of the time they'll tell you that you won't remember the reasons why you didn't do it all you'll remember is why you didn't and that's what they live in regret with so at the times when their bodies are in a state of rest or unable to move when they have their space so they don't get up to do things anymore they sit and you know time is long when you sit by yourself they sit and think and some are blessed with uh, their functioning brains and some I don't know some have the blessings of not having that memory that painful memory that keeps looping so it working in an aged care facility is the greatest adventure <laughs> I have ever been on in my life and I see the blessings of dementia everywhere I see people who just live in the moment and experience joy and sadness in the one moment and I see those who sit and cry over where their family has gone and all the mistakes they made to drive their family away so it all comes down to the choices that you make 
and the choices that you take now and listening to what your heart truly desires and really visualizing where your life is going, where you want to end up and and what you want to have created at the end of your timeline. So a lot of the times we talk about doing things for others to the detriment of not doing it for yourself. And they talk about the triumph of the of the heart chakra being accepting yourself as you are and feeling that love for yourself and being connected to yourself and in being connected to yourself how you can connect to others and truly be vulnerable and truly be valuable and and a light to inspire other people to also accept themselves and to feel softer and easier about who you are it doesn't matter what people think of you. They haven't walked in your shoes. They haven't seen and experienced the things you have. That's what makes you strong in your world. We talk about affirmations as as beautiful statements in the now. Things that we believe about ourselves. And sometimes when we don't believe them about ourselves, I'm not really a fan of the uh, fake it till you make it train, but I am a fan of, I am very soon going to be like this and I am working towards this. So some of the affirmations that come up here are, are, I am worthy of love. I love easily and with grace. I hold myself in compassion and I hold others in compassion, which is really important for me because compassion helps me, actually stops me from judging and from falling into the why me, that victim mentality. Compassion just easily flips it back to that person and It allows me to give them the space they need to understand what's happening in their life. And it has nothing to do with me. I love the affirmations of being in balance with yourself so that you can be in balance with others and truly serve others. I love the affirmation of the heart chakra being all about love and all about accepting things as they are now, that they might not be like this always, but to give yourself just a little bit of time to be and to understand before you can evolve into what you want for yourself and for the world in the future. You know that your spirit is really alive and that your heart chakra is really working for you when you begin to want to do things for other people, uh, the heart chakra is really, really selfless. Once you achieve mastery of loving yourself, it's so easy for your cup to be filled and for the overflow to come through and for you want to serve and contribute to your family and then your community and then the world in total. And actually how much you're doing around you is, is a reflection of of your of your capacity of your of your pure potential if you're helping your family and your children and uh, you know your 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 parents your your loved ones if you're serving them and you're out into the community and helping those who are less fortunate you are coming from a place of love and you are coming from a place of wanting to make the world a better place so your heart really has a role to play each one of us we all have different visions of what we want this world to be and I'm not talking about we want to make it uh, you know technological or, or super advanced or, we're talking about helping people live in their world comfortably we're talking about in each household where everybody is touched by disease and and touched by um, grief and, and and we all have our struggles whichever way they are financial and relationship and whatnot. Um, So we're there to create a world where there's compassion 
for that person and the struggles in their life and allowing them to to really um, express themselves. I think ultimately everyone wants to know that they're worthy and deserve to be loved. I find that at times when it's all rush, 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 and it's all about getting things done, that the key to tapping back into an open heart chakra and an, and an openness within yourself and a wanting to self-love and self-care, it's all about awareness first and acceptance that you are in that state next, and then really amping up that gratitude. So we talk about having uh, a, a beautiful mindfulness of gratitude, a beautiful presence of in the now, how is the world serving me? And I, I, I have to say that, that journaling does that for me. It brings me into the here and now. It, it forces me to look at the pen that I'm using on the white paper that, that, that is before me. And I love there's something beautiful about watching ink flow and for a page to be empty and then slowly fill with words that are just pouring straight out of your heart. Um, for me, journaling is my appreciation. It is my gratitude. It is my savoring of the day and reflecting and bringing out the insights. And you know, at times when you just can't do those things, when you can't bring yourself to do those things, that's called caring fatigue. You know all about that. I, I often say, who cares for the carer? And the answer will always be you. The answer will always be, it comes down to self-care. So you know what? Take some time out for you. Take some time out to take care of yourself. Take some time to care for your needs. Because as I said before, once you fill your own cup, with love and care and compassion and understanding that that it's too much understanding that you're in overwhelm understanding that it's too much let it sit with you sit in the uncomfortableness call it for what it is and sit with it we jump from thing to thing because we're afraid to sit with it, but sit with it. This is the four steps. They teach us this in positive psychology. Be aware of it, step one. Step two, call it. This is uncomfortable. This is beep, whatever swear word you want to use here. I don't like this. Sit with it. Feel it. Which part of your body does it sit in? Is it in your shoulders? Is it in your neck? Is it in your heart? Feel it. Let it come. Let it well. Let it come all the way up to your throat. Speak your truth. Let that emotion pass through your body. It's just an energy that's stuck there. It will come out. Give it enough time to come out. And then there's a beautiful moment of release. And then you take a deep breath. And it's gone. It's gone. And the, the bravery and the courage is in sitting with it and calling it for what it is and letting it go. The body is so good at healing itself. The body is so good at picking up things in your body and just wanting to expel them because the body is naturally healing, naturally sickly. It's just, you need to allow it functioning perfectly. It's just, you need to allow it to come out. And then in the letting it go, you just sort of thank it. Thank it with all your heart, with compassion. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing me how much this means to me. You've been with me for so long. And if you're ready to let go of emotions, maybe you're not. Maybe you want to hold on to emotions. 
and that's okay too that's where you're at sometimes emotions surface say hello this is what it looks like this is what it feels like what would you like to do would you like to be friends and stay a while and help me or would you like to go back out into the ether and uh, and you know thank you for your service and see how that sits with you and see see what it creates there's a shift within obviously because when you free up areas in your heart it allows for more things it can allow for other emotions to surface and slowly it's peeling back the layers of the onion uh, until you get to the core essence of of who you truly are and and your true purpose Yeah, embrace the whispers in your soul. That's what I, that's what sort of came up for me as I was making this. And uh, yeah, it left just this beautiful, open, compassionate, loving space. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. And I'll see you in my next video.